guys, welcome back to Scott Family Homestead. We are in full preservation mode here. My last video, we were freeze drying kale. Today, we are doing peaches. So I picked these up from the Tree Ripe fruit truck. I know that's kind of a regional thing. If you're in Wisconsin, you may have heard of them. They have the best peaches. And so I got two half bushels. Uh, this is just a portion of it. And I'm going to can these today. I'm hoping to get 14 quarts done today. But I'm going to show you the process and give you a little summary of how to get these peaches into jars so that you can have them all winter long. The very first thing that you need to do is peel your peaches. It's important that you get a freestone peach. So there's two different types. When you're purchasing them, you want to ask. These are freestone peaches, meaning the seed on the inside is going to come out easily. A clingstone peach, the flesh of the fruit really clings to that seed on the inside. So if you're going to be doing processing like this, you want to make sure you have the freestone peaches. I've got some boiling water here and then I have ice water over here. So we're just going to take our peaches. It takes a minute or less, uh, but what we're going to do, we're going to cut a little X in the bottom here. We're going to carefully lower them into the boiling water and you'll start to see it peel away. Once you start to see it peel away in the water, you're going to pull it out. We'll just keep a steady supply going here. Try to do it quickly. Once it's peeling away, you're going to add it to your ice water. While those are going, we're going to talk a little bit about the process of canning peaches. Um, I like to use this book. I recommend it all the time. If you've been on my channel for a while, you have seen this one before. Uh, this one will show you how to do it raw pack or hot pack. I prefer to do it raw pack, and we'll talk more about what that means in a minute. Um, but basically, we're going to slice these peaches up. We're going to put them in jars. We're going to put a medium syrup over it. Um, you can do a light syrup, and there's even a way to do it with just hot water. But we like to do a syrup on them, um, just sugar and water. We'll go ahead and put that into the jar and process it in a water bath canner. Very simple. When you first get your peaches, they might be a little bit firm. I actually prefer it that way. It means you're not going to have bruised and soft ones in the bottom of your box. Um, you lay them out on your counter in a single layer. Uh, it takes up quite a bit of space. Uh, give them a couple days and they will start to soften up. Um, these I just moved over from the other counter. Now that they're all softened, they're perfect for canning. Right, we're starting to get where it's peeling away. The ice water will help it even more. And then before we peel those, we'll get the next batch put in the boiling water. And try to get a steady rotation going. The next step here, you need somewhere to put your peach slices where they're not going to brown. We're going to take one quart of water and we're going to add a quarter cup of lemon juice. You can also use a produce protector or a store-bought mix, um, but I prefer just to use the lemon juice because that's what I usually have on hand. We're going to take these and the skin is going to peel right off now that it's cooled down. Super simple. We're going to cut this in half and remove the pit. So we cut it in half. We've got our peach pit there. We're just going to grab it. You can slice around it if you prefer. Um, but I just pull it out and then we'll chop this into slices. Got about six slices per peach. We'll put them in our lemon water. If for some reason you get one that's not peeling easily, um, just put it back. Put it back in your boiling water. Give it a little bit more time. So I'm just going to keep this going and then I'll catch up with you when I've got all my slices ready to go. Thank you. 
I now have two big bowls of peach slices in lemon juice. That'll give us a little bit of time. The next thing I'm gonna do is take five cups of water. I'm gonna add three cups of cane sugar to make a medium syrup. And we're just gonna warm this up and get it all dissolved. In the meantime, I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna put them raw into our room temperature jars, and we're going to fill them up to about a half inch headspace. And then we'll be adding the syrup once it's warm. So we're gonna to try to drain off a lot of the water that's on here. But it will just make a lighter syrup if you have extra water, it's not gonna be a huge deal. You could actually strain it all out if you wanted to. You can also do this with peach halves if you didn't want them sliced down as small. But we prefer the slices. I'm gonna go ahead and fill these up fairly tight and my canner fits seven quarts, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to do seven right away. Okay, now we're gonna follow the general guidelines for canning. We're gonna do a half inch headspace for peaches. We're gonna add our liquid. Uh, we're going to get all of our bubbles out, move that fruit around, make sure there aren't any bubbles in there. We're gonna wipe our rims. We're gonna put brand new lids on there and finger tight with our bands. And then it's ready to go into the canner. Our canner is cool because we are doing a raw pack method right now. And so it has water that will cover all of our jars, uh, but it is cool right now. We'll bring it up to temperature once everything is settled and ready to go. You do wanna make sure your jars aren't cold because we're gonna be putting this hot syrup in it. I'm um, letting this cool down a little bit. Uh, you don't want to shock your glass jars. You lose all that fruit in there would be really sad at this point. My syrup has a little bit darker color to it because we used cane sugar. Still has a little bit of that molasses in it, which makes for a really great syrup. You move this around and get all the bubbles out and if it lowers your fluid level to below half an inch, you're gonna to wanna to top it off once you're done. You also wanna make sure that all your fruit is covered in syrup or you will get a little bit of browning on it. You can do this in wide mouth or regular mouth, it does not matter. Um, I prefer the wide mouth, it's easier to dump out. Here we go, we've got all the bubbles out. We've got it accurately measured on the top. It's time to wipe our rim. These can get pretty sticky, so this is an important part. Okay, now into our canner. This goes. I'm going to go ahead and finish the other six. I'm going to go ahead and get these loaded into my water bath canner. Like I said, it is cool. I will add water if needed. You want it to be at least a half inch over the top of your jars. And then we'll bring this up to a rolling boil before we start our timer. Pints you process for 25 minutes, quarts we're gonna do for 30, and then adjust for your altitude. Where we are here, you add five minutes. I'm gonna do these quarts for 35 minutes. And again, that timer does not start until it's up to a rolling boil. I do want to add that slow temperature changes are going to be really important when you do peaches. If you change the temperature too quickly, you will get siphoning out of your jars. 
it is very common. So if you are a beginner canner and you lose a little bit of your liquid on your peaches, don't be discouraged. Uh, it happens a lot of the time. You can also end up with fruit float where the fruit kind of floats up to the top and you get a layer of the syrup down at the bottom. That is okay. It doesn't mean you did anything wrong. Sometimes it happens just based on the quality of fruit that you got. I mean, there's a whole lot of things that you can troubleshoot, uh, but it doesn't really bother anything. If your fruit is floating on the top where it's not covered by liquid, it can brown a little bit, but it's still perfectly good to eat. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these peeled and ready so we can do our second batch. I've got about 10 minutes left on this one. I just got this one loaded up with peaches. I'm gonna put a little bit of vinegar in here. If you have hard water, you wanna add vinegar, just a little splash to your canners so you don't get that mineral buildup on the outside of your jars. I'm gonna get a lid put on this. I'm gonna bring it up to a boil, and then once it is at a rolling boil, we'll start our timer, 35 minutes. And then in about an hour or so, we should have 14 finished quarts of peaches. Timer on my first one is done. So we're gonna turn this off. This one's not quite up to boiling yet, so we're just gonna hold off on that. I'm gonna let this settle in a little bit. Then I'm gonna remove the top and we're gonna wait five minutes before removing any of our fruit. This helps the temperature change slowly so we don't get any of that siphoning we were worried about. It's done boiling now. slowly let some of the steam out and then in about a minute I'm gonna take this lid off completely now we're gonna wait five minutes this is the moment of truth do I have any siphoning or any fruit float let's see I'm gonna pull your jars straight out they're floating a little bit but not bad looks pretty good to me Might be the best peaches I've ever canned. Peaches is actually the very first thing that I ever canned years ago. I'm just trying to do it nice and slow. Oh, they look great. I'm trying to make sure that they cool slowly. I'm going to throw a towel over them. And then we'll just wait for that little ping. Now since I have all the dishes are dirty and we still have more peaches, I'm gonna keep going. Do one more batch. But I'm gonna sign off for now. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you learned something about canning peaches and you go ahead and give it a try. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.